So I'm working from uh, home today. I brought my laptop home. I want to go ahead and install Handbrake. I had a project uh, that I need to compress a video. So I click the request button. I'm going to see a familiar pop-up. I know my organization utilizes Auto Elevate. I see my logos of my company. I see the familiar text. I'm able to go ahead with that installation. Now on my side, I've got the request pop up, the push notification on the mobile app here. So I'm going to open that up. And now I see the information for Adam's request here. So Adam's trying to um, install, let's see here, Handbrake. Um, I see also at the top there, he is part of my field laptops location too. So we'll get some information about that too. Um, I've got a quick security check for the device. I know everything looks good there. And then I've got the application security here as well. I've got the ability to grab that MD5 hash code um, and pull that into my virus totals integration and uh, actually see some of that threat intelligence that virus totals gives us. Um, I know the application is good, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually approve this. Now I've got some options here to do a um, one-time approval, or I can actually quickly create a rule um, for you know, potentially his computer, uh, maybe that whole field laptops um, you know, security group location there, or I can just globally whitelist it um, for all companies uh, as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a one-time approval here. Um, and let Adam get back to work. So I got my notification. The timer was counting down. However, that timer is fully customizable. Um, however, I'm super happy I can go ahead with my installation. If I want to do that installation later, I would just click this later and then I could uh, grab that executable and do that install later. However, once I hit OK, you'll see us pop up with the one time use credentials, 127 character uh, password. I'm able to go ahead with my handbrake install and get back to work. Now, one other very important feature you'll see on the mobile app is at any time I can hit a quick hotkey if I am either remoted into a workstation or if I'm sitting in front of it and bring up that QR code reader you see on the screen. Now on the mobile app on the top left corner there, I'm gonna hit the QR code reader, bring that in and I'm actually going to authenticate into this workstation now. So. Um, a lot of folks that we talk to, you know, one of the big things that uh, ends up happening when you get a new employee is you uh, end up giving them keys to the kingdom access and giving them a full admin license uh, or login to the system. So we give you the ability to instead use the mobile app to act as your um, two-factor authentication method where your techs don't even need to know a password anymore because we're using that uh, big long 127 character password that Adam was talking about um, and automatically authenticate that in. So now I'm gonna run a quick PowerShell command uh, on this workstation. I got the pop up here. I can hit admin elevation. That will automatically fill that password in and now I can go ahead and do the work that I needed to do in the first place.